What's up, Geek Girl World? This is Ari and Christine again. <laughs> And welcome to Reactions. Today we're going to be reacting to season two of Epic Rap Battles in History. Yeah, because the first one was evidently a hit. Yep. I guess, yeah. Uh, real quick before we get started, because this has been eating at me for the past couple weeks, uh, I made an error in the last video. Uh, David Diggs was not Benjamin Franklin. He was uh, Thomas Jefferson, and I should know this because every time I end my shift with work, I sing in my head, Thomas Jefferson's coming home. <laughs> so I should have known that. So I just wanted to let you know that I, I think I'm kind of losing my mind, and that's why I said that. So Yeah, you know, like I say all the time, you know, sometimes the synapses don't connect. Like, I can't recall everything, like total recall every minute. And like when we're doing this, it's like... It's stream of consciousness reaction, you yes. know? We're it's not just scripting right this. when it comes like, into our brain, we're saying off it. the head. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes our brains are not quite there. So, <laughs> apologies. All right. So, our first video is Hitler versus Vader 2. Um, so, this is a rematch between last season's Hitler versus Vader. I don't Vader. remember who I sided with. Was I Hitler? I think I went with Hitler. Yeah, you went with Hitler. I went with and Vader. you went with Vader. Okay, yeah. we'll okay. see We'll see who, who does it this time. Yeah, who reigns supreme. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good start. Yeah. Production values a little further up. Yeah. Hitler frozen in carbonite? That's what it is it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's Hitler frozen in carbonite. <laughs> good start, good cold open guys. Yes. Because I mean, if Hitler ended up in the Rancor pit, then he's he he's dead. Lost. But but I don't think that should be counted as like. Oh, I don't know because Hitler really came hard in this one. I mean, I'm still Team Hitler, which sounds <laughs> really terrible to say. I don't agree with anything he did, guys. I just think his rap was better. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm going to have to go with Hitler, too. Because We're agreeing like, on it. Because, yeah, I mean, I think the him falling in the Rancor pit at the end, that's kind of, like, lame, you know, to rest the the, the win on that. You know, the Hitler came hard, man. 
<laughs> did. All right, I guess we both are Team Hiller. I think we're both in agreement on that one. Let's see. Okay, so what... Um, who was who, who was, was in this who was one. whom who was whom i don't we, think that's the right way to say it maybe <laughs> <laughs> so we had darth vader was nice peter adolf hitler was epic lloyd stormtrooper was morgan christensen and bosch the bounty hunter was verona blue so cool and then i know was that that was nice peter as um stephen hawking at the end wasn't it that cameo, even though it's not written in here, I think that was nice, I Peter. I want to say yes. I, yeah. I'm going to assume so, if he was in the last season. Then yeah, I'm going to say that was him, too. <laughs> was he him in the last season? Yeah, he was. I think it was him in the last season that he was Stephen Hawking in the last season. I'm going to... That gonna, feels right. I'm going to say it was... If we're wrong. If we're wrong, just don't hate us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay... <laughs> So the next one we have is Master Chief versus Leonidas. And I read it as Master Chef, and I've just been thinking in my head, Master <laughs> Chef. I'm like, what are they doing with this? I can't read, guys. I can't read. <laughs> I'm still thinking, what are they doing with this? With It's, it's Master Chief versus Leonidas. I, I'm still thinking, yeah, wh where did they get this match? Well, according to the comments on the last video, it's, it's all just random. Yeah, some of I think it's the both. first like the first season was just like they're like they just did it randomly or whatever. Mm -hmm. The second season though they came they did or they did um comments. They did them from the comments like they had people like, you know, put in the comments. All right, I guess that makes so, sense. So, I don't know, whoever came up with the comment of Master Chief versus Leonidas I want to know who you are and why. We're going to find you. Yeah, what was your thought process behind that one? I'd be very interested to know what was your thought process behind that one, except for besides shouting out just two random people. <laughs> hey, it seems to be their method, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's see what this one we have. Hey, 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 hey. Chaos every time. Oh, sorry. That's why. I mean, their effects are a little. Better. Their effects are better now. So fast, Cortana says you're quick. So watch just stick these lyrics up your ass. Stick the monument to my sin. Take the soldier that needs you to be. Ain't no way that you can be me. My initial spell is C. Because Master Chief is a Spartan, that that's what they call them. That they, they were in the Spartan program, and then of course Leonardus, they're from Sparta. They're Spartans. They're the original Spartans. So Spartan versus Spartan. So I get it now. I had a brain fart at earlier, so that's why I didn't get it before. <laughs> now we know it wasn't as random as we thought it was. <laughs> yeah. But on that note, who do you think won that one? Because that one, I don't know. It was kind of 
Probably Master Chief. Yeah, I want to say Master Chief too. Even though Leonardo's Leon Leonardo's Leonidas. You're close. <laughs> You're close enough. We know who she's talking about. Come on. Even though he was like pretty, his his rhymes were pretty hard too. But yeah, I, I think I want to give it to Master Chief myself. And yeah, that might be a little bit of the Halo fangirl in me. You know, not all Halo players are. Um, overweight people in their mom's basements. Um, some, of are, <laughs> some of them are overweight people with their own jobs. <laughs> some of them are women. <laughs> and some of them are women. Yeah, overweight women. <laughs> like me. But anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to give it to Master Chief. I yeah. think that was pretty solid. Yeah. So here we have Master Chief was Nice Peter. Leonidas was Jesse Well or Welly. Well, well, I think so. From Prank versus Prank. And then we have Leonidas was voiced by Epic Lloyd, though. Oh, okay. And Gorgo was Jenna. Gina? Gina? Queen, Queen Gorgo. Yeah. Yeah, was, I think it's, it's Gina. Gina. Just one name, like Madonna. Just, yeah. From Prank versus Prank. And then Spartans were Gabe Michael, Dante Simadon. Summa Demore? Summa Demore? Summa Demore. I hope so. I hope we're getting that right. If we're butchering it, we apologize. <laughs> and then six year old son was Epic, Epic Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> in the diaper, because six year olds wear diapers. In their <laughs> <laughs> God, that's funny. Okay. I mean, I wore diapers till I was like 20, so. Really? No. Okay. It didn't land. I realize there's not really an audience right here to laugh at like no really way. terrible jokes. I expected like a ah. a laugh track. Yes, maybe, a laugh track. Maybe I we'll need a laugh that. track. Yeah, maybe we'll do that next we time. We need to add it. We'll add a laugh track next time. That's fair. So our next one is Mario Brothers versus Wright Brothers. And I guess it's the brothers. Bro v bro. Bro v bro. So let's see what this one has in store for us. It was fresh. Right? That's what kids are saying these days. <laughs> so, I'm going to give it to Mario Brothers. Because I was going to agree with you. You're going to agree with me? Because I thought they were hitting harder than the Wright Brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree with that. They were hitting harder. So, let's see. Who was who? Wright Brothers were... Ah, oh, dang. Rhett and Link. All Rhett right. and Link. And Mario was Epic Lloyd. And Nice, Pe nice Peter was... Luigi, Princess Peach, special guest was Cecily. I hope I'm I like these just one names. Yeah. <laughs> I think it has more of an impact. I think I'm going to drop my last name and just be Christine. You can be Christine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think 
You would be the the Christine. It'll be like, hi, I'm Christine. Mm -hmm. And then just, what's your last name? I'll say no last name. Just Christine. I don't need it. Yeah. I don't no need last it at all. Need it. <laughs> <laughs> so our next one is Michael Jackson versus Elvis Presley. I get this one too. Kings. You know, king. King of pop versus king of rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson was also married to Lisa Marie Presley at one point. I'm sh I'm thinking that will probably be brought up. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna mention something. Someone's gotta mention it. <laughs> if it's not mentioned, that's a real missed opportunity. <laughs> so let's see what that has in store for us. <laughs> Before our Way eyes. Way more production value than they had last season. Yeah, wow. <laughs> and I mean, I don't even, I, like, I, 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 I can't even. Think. I'm going, I'm going Michael Jackson. You're going with Michael Jackson? I think that was something great. Though Elvis was pretty hilarious. They... Except voice. I'm, I'm big on the voices. The voices are what get me. Uh. <laughs> Every time. I I don't know. I wanna ooh like I really wanna say Elvis, but I think having little Michael in there, it I'm kinda you, like if you got if you got your character aging into his older self. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I gotta give it to Michael. I gotta give yeah, it to he, Michael. He won that there. one. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Credit where credit's due. <laughs> So, young Michael Jackson was Bentley Green, old Michael Jackson was Nice Peter, a young and old Elvis Presley were Epic Lloyd, and special thanks to LaTanya, Brenda, and Ashley Planks. LaTanya, uh, Brenda, and Ashley Planks. What are the special things? I don't know what the special things are for. <laughs> Thank you for um, being special. Thanks for being special. Or Ladies? were they in? At, I just I know there were some like Jackson Five in there, but yeah. I thought that was more like of them playing the Jackson Five rather than I didn't see girls, but um, it could have been girls playing the Jackson Five. It might have been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Let's see. So our next one is Cleopatra versus Marilyn Monroe. All right. 
And this one I don't get. Do you? You got it. You don't know. Popular that? women. I. I, don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say movie stars, and then I was like, well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Nope, Cleopatra was not in movies. In a, not yeah. the real Cleopatra. Not the real Cleopatra. Oh, God. It, Elizabeth Taylor, Cleopatra. I, I'm i thinking they mean literal they Cleopatra. They mean literal Cleopatra. The OG <laughs> Cleopatra. I'm losing my mind. This is the descent into madness, guys. This is how it starts. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this one has in store for us. Oh, I like it too. I can't dance though, so I'm not gonna move that much. You're going Cleopatra on that. Mm -hmm. I am going. I'm going to give it to Marilyn Monroe. Mmm. Your sandy ass vagina has a seven year itch. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, wow. I wasn't expecting it to be so brutal. I thought it would be kind of like, like a little more gentle. Oh, I don't know why I thought that way. Yeah. Now I know. <laughs> now I know. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna give it to Marilyn, but um, you're gonna. So we're splitting on we're this split. one. Yeah. Just like just like the original, the first video. Yeah, the first video we split. We on were a split. Lot. I think on most of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And so this one we have Marilyn Monroe was Kimmy Gatewood, Cleopatra was Angela Trimber, Marlon Brando was Epic Lloyd. John F. Kennedy was nice Peter, and Kasim G. was himself. I think that was really, it was a really great one. Yeah, that was a great one. That was... Women that was, slay, guys. Yeah, women were slaying. <laughs> so, our next one is Steve Jobs versus Bill Gates. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That totally makes that sense. This is like, I mean, this is like... They've already had this big rap battle. Like, in real in life. Real life. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what, you know, this version has in store. The, the, the actual rap battle. <laughs> Sit down and pay his taxes. 
A man used the machines I built to listen to the Beatles while he relaxes. Well, Steve, you steal all the credit for work that other people do. Your fat beard boss, they act like these raps for you, too. Oh. Everybody knows when they pick up after I triple the profits on a PC. I'm a beard with a power. Wow, it's it's your an a people with jobs use PC. <laughs> I bet they make this beat on an Apple. Nope, fully loose. PC, you'll never, ever catch a virus on an Apple. You can sell it for a doctor if you bought a PC. Oh. Talk about oh. doctors. I see the beauty because I got a PC. But if one of them you, I built a legacy, son. You can never stop. And I excuse me while I turn heaven up. like basically Steve Jobs versus Bill Gates. And then HAL 9000 came in and smashed. Because HAL 9000 is from 2001 A Space Odyssey. He's yeah, like, see, I haven't seen, I haven't seen. Oh, you haven't seen that? You have to see that. It's just, it's, yeah, it's I a know. classic. I, I haven't classic. seen a lot of movies. Hey, yeah. if you guys have any movies that you think I haven't seen for whatever reason, come with them. I'll watch them. I'll watch them eventually. I'll get there. So... For this one, we had Steve Jobs' is Nice Peter, Bill Gates' is Epic Lloyd, and How 9000 was voiced by Nice Peter, which Nice Peter did a really good impression of How 9000. He brought the thunder. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah. He brought the thunder. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just trying to keep relevant. <laughs> So our next one is oh, God. Frank Sinatra versus Freddie Mercury, which I'm just going to go with, you know, they're both singers, crooners, I guess you could say. Frank Sinatra was a crooner and Freddie Mercury did do like some crooning, like some, you know, songs that could you, be They were both just insanely talented. Insanely talented. Freddie Mercury is borderline a god oh freddie mercury is god yeah he is he no is. like he is he is definitely like if god, god speaks to you it's in freddie mercury's it's in voice. Freddie mercury's voice. he'll sing it to you <laughs> i think that's in the bible like i'm pretty sure it is yeah in the bible it does say i am freddie mercury uh, on the third day yeah i was freddie mercury <laughs> seventh day one of the days <laughs> I don't even know what I'm thinking for. <laughs> oh god, this is ridiculous. Okay. Let's see what this one has in store for us. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> 
Gets me every time. <laughs> they get like more and more. They're just more and more ridiculous every time. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely Freddie Mercury hands down because that was like pretty. That was pretty hard. I mean, I don't. Yeah. Harmonies even. Harmonies. In there. Yeah. It's like, all right. I mean, Frank I Sinatra. He had some. He had some good ones, but. Yeah, I think no. I think Freddie Mercury kind of like yeah. He he nailed it. Yep, nailed it. <laughs> so Freddie Mercury was nice, Peter. Frank Sinatra was epic, Lloyd. Sammy Davis Jr. was Tay Zonde. All right, that was a good one. Yes, that was solid. Oh yeah. So our next one is Barack Obama versus Mitt Romney. Oh, so this was 2012. Mm hmm. So, yeah. So, this, this makes sense. Ma around election time, so of course. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to do it, or they might have already done it. Yeah. I guess did. we'll find out when we watch the later seasons. No, I actually did watch that one. Oh, it's confirmed. So, that's actually a thing. They did do with Trump and Hillary. Yes, they did. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just, I'm just behind you. <laughs> Ha! Don't worry, I'm wise, man! What are you doing? 
You got hitched to the female version of Patrick Ewing! Oh, let me be clear. Uh, don't get it twisted. We'll see how pretty your face is after my face is kissed. Uh, I, 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 you're a stuttering communist. Oh, yeah? Well, you're stupid. You're stupid. No, uh uh. uh Then Abraham Lincoln came in, and I think he stole it. I literally am giving it to Abraham Lincoln. Even though he is not, he's not even in the running. I'll give it to Obama. That was a great impression. <laughs> it was a great impression. It was a great impression. Um, I, like I already reacted to the the um, Donald Trump versus Hillary, and I gave it to Abraham Lincoln. Then <laughs> he shows up in that one too. He shows up, I'm spoiler oh, alert! Spoiler guys! Sorry. <laughs> spoiler alert! If you have not seen that one. <laughs> oh no! They're gonna but, come with their stakes this, and their pitchforks. I know. Mean, they're like, you spoiled it. Oh, yeah. I was like, come on! No, no. You guys are watching this. To, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are watching this because you've already seen season two, and you're watching this to see if we have the same reaction. To see if we, you yeah. know, have valid opinions. You're right. So, but if you haven't watched season two, you should watch season two first and, and then, then come, come back. watch what we're doing. <laughs> right. Because we're going to talk a lot. Yeah. And we're going to talk about it. And then, yeah. And you probably should have watched the other season. So shame on you. <laughs> yeah. Shame on you. Yes. Shame. I blame you. I blame you if you got some. I don't know what bell. <laughs> shame. <laughs> yeah. But it's going to, I'm giving it to Obama. Yeah, you're, I, though you're, I understand why you would give it to Lincoln. Yeah, because he's Lincoln. And well, yeah, he's Lincoln, and he came in on an eagle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His last line was eagle. He came in on an eagle. He rode out on an eagle. Yeah, I have. Hey, it was, <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. <laughs> he had me at eagle. He had me at eagle. <laughs> <laughs> so who who was who? Oh yeah, let's let's not forget who is. Who. Let's give credit. The credit is due. Yes. Oh, that was like a rhyme. I did rhyme. <laughs> I, we've been watching a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Barack Obama was Alpha Cat. Abraham Lincoln was Nice Peter, and Mitt Romney was Epic Lloyd. Cool. Nailed it. That was very funny. <laughs> very funny. So our next one is Doc Brown versus Doctor Who. So I'm gonna admit something here. <laughs> I have never watched Doctor Who. Oh my gosh! Please Party don't. Foul. Please don't. Please don't hate me. I'll watch it. I'll get to it. There's a lot of shows I'm watching right now. A lot of shows I'm invested in. I don't have. I mean, there's so much Doctor Who. I don't understand what it means when it's like eighth Doctor and fifth mm -hmm. Doctor. You don't really have to. I mean, you don't really have to go in to watch an old Who to understand new Who. New Who. New Who. <laughs> you can just start with the ninth Doctor. Just know that there are... He's the ninth incarnation of the Doctor. and that's So it. how many are there right now? There are 12. So you start at the ninth season? No, because it's like... It's been on for 50 years. <laughs> and I think this is Oh, like wow. The, okay. I, didn't, I I knew that there was like an original Doctor Who, but I didn't know if it was like a reboot when they started doing the new stuff in what, the early 2000s? Yeah. When they started doing it again? Yeah. Yeah. I and didn't know if it was a reboot or anything like that. It kind of is and it kind of isn't. Like they reference things in the entire continuum of the series, but then things get updated. Things got kind of like re- like storylines got retconned a little bit. Okay. So yeah. So yeah, it it is a continuation, but 
it got updated so but yeah you don't really have to watch old who to understand it to start with so do i get your it. like glowing recommendation yes about of it? course Don't absolutely absolutely definitely watch doctor who all right yes i'm gonna do it then and then and then if you watch new who and you really like new who then we can talk about going back to old who because old who takes like a it's an acquired taste yes it's an acquired taste. you gotta be a fan you gotta be like really hardcore and you gotta like suspend your disbelief and, oh, and so all of your like you know all of your appreciation for all these new updated effects because yeah there's gonna oh be well a yeah i know it's gonna be like old school You're, stuff you gotta on. like the classic effects all right <laughs> <laughs> all, that, all that practical yeah all right <laughs> So anyway, with that being said, let's Little see. Doctor Who snippet <laughs> there. Getting me on board. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this one has in store. <laughs> smart enough for these raps. I'm really not. <laughs> I'm giving it to Doc Brown, but there also is a bias because it's, it's I haven't seen Doctor Who. Either. Wait, wait. See, see, this is like, I, 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 like my mind is tripped on this because I don't know who to give it to. And I'm, I'm thinking like I could give it to the doctor because. But be more who, specific. Cause, well, it would be the. Tenth Doctor because okay. he came back and rewound time, but did he really come back and rewound rewind time, or was that Marty McFly and Doc Brown? I don't know. Oh God, about <laughs> us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to say that's a draw. That's like, I'm giving it to Doc Brown. You're giving it to Doctor Brown. There is Doc a bias. Brown, there but, is a bias. It, I, that might have been. I might have been able to understand that more if I was a Doctor Who fan. Yeah, but. and I and I mean I'm a Back to the Future fan and a Doctor Who fan. I'm just she's I, conflicted. I'm conflicted. 
I'm just gonna have to say that's a draw. I'm All right. Say, that's a draw for me. So the tenth doctor was nice, Peter. Doc Brown was Zach Sherwin, aka MC Mr. Napkins. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Napkins. Okay. All right. <laughs> and then we have the fourth doctor was George Watsky. And then we have Marty McFly was Epic Lloyd. So. Yeah, wow, that one was intense. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Yeah. I like the opening. Their production value just... It just skyrocketed yeah, season just, two. When, uh, they got they got quite the budget. <laughs> <laughs> so our next one is Bruce Lee versus Clint Eastwood. I totally get this one. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see what this has in store for us. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Clint Eastwood. Though uh, it was, it was close. It was, it was close. It definitely was. I mean, they were like neck and neck until that last line. It that just... last line really mm. drove it home <laughs> for us. <laughs> so this one, Bruce Lee was Mike Diva. Clint Eastwood was Epic Lloyd. Mustached Cowboy was Nice Peter. And Bruce Lee's stunt double was Zin Wuku. I think that's Zin Wuku because I think in Chinese the X is a... Zin? Is it Zin? Uh, yeah, or Zin or Zin. I think it's like I is a E and X is a Z. I'm thinking that, but if, if we I'm butchered wrong, it, tell us. Tell we don't, us. We don't want to be dicks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we don't. It's X-I-N. So if it's Zin or Zin... I think it's Zin. Or Zin. With the X... Jin. Jin. Just let us know. Just tell us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look out after the fact, but like, just in case. <laughs> okay. Yeah, wow, that one was harsh. Yeah, that one was pretty. Whew. Yeah, that last one is still. Whew. Stings. I'm, I, feel, I feel that burn from here. Mm hmm. Yeah. Four years later, I feel that burn. <laughs> that burn traveled through time. Yes. Mm hmm. Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> so our next one is Batman versus Sherlock Holmes. All right, that makes sense. Detectives. Really? Detectives. Oh. My brain is not firing all cylinders right now. I just got off yeah, I mean, you got the other stuff. You got <laughs> like Doctor Who. This is all about Doctor Who. <laughs> and like, you knew the what? T... Uh, the calculator? I it's know, not a calculator. I know, but Batman is supposed to be, like, the love of my life, you know. Bruce Wayne or Batman? Both. I, I would totally... I would. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Wayne, I 
would. Yeah, both. Yeah, I, I would I would totally be down for Bruce Wayne and Batman. Like I would I would keep your secret and I would support you going out every night and fighting crime. I would not be one of those thirsty bitches that says no, no, stay home can't. with me. Stay home. <laughs> Thirsty bitches. Oh God. Same. Okay. Same. I I would not be a thirsty a thirsty bitch either. I would definitely. I would I would marry Bruce Wayne. Mm-hmm. I would marry Bruce Wayne and I would support your habit going out as Batman every night. Yes. I would really want to be a sidekick though. I don't think I'd want to just like chill at home and like hang out. Like I get that Bruce Wayne has a lot of money, but like mm-hmm. I would want to help. You would I want to pull my own weight. I'm more of a nightwing myself. Oh, see. Oh, yes. 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 Mm hmm. I agree. You agree that I'm more Nightwing than Batgirl? Yes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I agree. Somebody told me one time when I had red hair, I was wearing a Batman shirt. They were like, oh, has anyone ever told you that you look like Oracle? I'm like, I mean, no. Nobody's ever told me I've ever looked like someone who's sort of a superhero. Like, ever. And that'll probably be the last time anyone ever tells me that I look like a superhero. But a lot of people think that you look like the new girl, um... Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel. I get that almost every day. It's the glasses and the blue eyes and the looking like I have no idea what's going on. (laughs) But somebody said Lizzie Kaplan. Someone said Lizzie Kaplan in the comments, and I am obsessed with Lizzie Kaplan. I worship the ground she walks on. So that, I'm going to pocket that compliment and probably pull it out every time I'm feeling sad. So, thanks. I don't remember the, the commenter that said that, but... Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you. All right, so Batman. Batman versus Sherlock. I, I wed Sherlock Holmes, too. I, I, yeah, I do him, He's too. Really, I do him. I was, I was in marriage, Ari. I wasn't going that direction. God. <laughs> so, let's, let's get to this. Let's just do it, damn it. Oh my god. 
that's a tie. Yeah, that was Kyle Mooney. Oh, it was. Okay. Mm-hmm. I knew it. I knew yeah. I recognized his face. I'm, um, yeah, you said it was a tie. I'm, I'm gonna saying it's a tie. I'm going to have to say it's a tie, too. That one was, because both sides were just hilarious. Both and, sides really came after each Really, other. really brought it. Yeah. They really just, like, yeah. If I'm going to lean one way, I'll probably go Sherlock Holmes. But mm. I'm saying it's a tie for the sake of, I, I really would, liked Batman. Only, I mean, I think I was definitely going to give it to Batman and then... The, the last part, the last bit, Sherlock Holmes slowing down, slowing down, analyzing. and like analyzing and deducing and all that stuff, and then came back with that rhyme. It kind of like edged him up, but I just not quite enough to get the decisive win for me. I still have to give it a draw. That's fine. Yeah, we'll say it's a, we'll say it's a tie. Yeah. I'll I'll agree with that. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> So we have Batman was nice Peter, Robin was epic Lloyd, Sherlock Holmes was Zach Sherwin, which was MC Mr. Napkins again, <laughs> and Dr. Watson was Kyle Mooney. Kyle Mooney, God, he is something else. <laughs> I don't remember what he, well he's on SNL now, but he had videos that my, my brother showed me that was like, he would go and do fake interviews, but he wouldn't ask real questions. It would just mm. be like, so do you like the thing? That they did. <laughs> so. <laughs> so funny. I'm doing it, like, I'm not doing it justice. It is so funny. I feel like, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I feel like if you look up Kyle Mooney on YouTube, you're going to find it. And oh. it's just, is it on there? Yeah. yeah, we have his YouTube here. So we'll put a link. We're we'll put links, links to everybody. Every, everybody is going to be in the He would do fake scripture. interviews and they're just, oh my God, hilarious. So. Yeah. Promoting Kyle Mooney. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of the prayer hands. <laughs> well, that brings us to our next battle, which is Moses versus Santa Claus. Bulls are made up. <laughs> I'm lying. I, that's not what they have in common. I don't know. <laughs> I'm lying. That's not what it is. Um, I think, well, Moses was an orphan. Was Santa Claus an orphan? Well, I don't know his parentage. Hmm, I don't know. But well, I think nobody knows his. Santa just is. Yeah, nobody knows. His Someone's going to be like, this is what they have in common in the comments. Be like, you guys are idiots. And we'll be like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a long day for both of us. Yeah, yeah. We actually, like, work and then... Yeah, and then come, come <laughs> hang out and watch the videos. <laughs> so let's see what this one has in store for us. Is that Snoop Dogg? Yeah. Sweet robes over in one too many days in the sun. Stop preaching, homie. Teach your flock to cover some fun. I preach you every year, man. I represent cheers. You represent sandals and a scraggly beard. I'm from the North Pole. That's why I ride the South Pole. I spit diamonds when I'm surfing up some fresh coal. You ran the naughty boy. You broke a plate of frogs. I mean, I feel like this is not going to be a competition once Snoop Dogg's I mean, I'm just giving you, like, some lip service right now, but yeah. We'll give you a chance. He's getting a lot of time! Because they know. Kill it! When I was high upon the mountain, God revealed the truths of the earth, but he never mentioned a fat ass pop of smirk. It takes nine great years to hold your fat ass. You took the price out of Christmas that just ain't no more ass. Stop breaking the houses and creeping the people. No nonsense. You just want to see the people. Here's a stop. Don't you want to hold me? Ha, 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 ha. 
Yeah, they're really bringing it up now. Oh, they threw a Snoop. Production value went way I, up. Snoop <laughs> is so... He's just hilarious. Like, he has a cooking show now. I don't know if it was... I'm pretty sure it's real. I don't think it was a joke. If it was a joke and I'm an idiot, let me know. But I saw that he had a cooking show with Martha Stewart now. Mm-hmm. Which is just like... Awesome. <laughs> I, haven't seen, I haven't seen the show, but I've heard good yeah. things about it. I Same. Heard I heard that it. it's like awesome. Yeah. He's so funny. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, uh, Moses won that. <laughs> oh, credit, no, but well, Santa, he had some he great, had some like, great lines. Runs. Like, there were some good lines really in there. Really great runs. I what mean, if you snoop? I mean, come on. I mean, seriously. <laughs> the D-O double G? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, he said it's kind of hard in the Israel I E or something like BC. that. Israel B C. Oh my God! <laughs> it's kind of hard talking to G O D. Oh my God! He's so good. <laughs> He's yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Santa, Santa had some good stuff. I feel like I would just want to have like a, a gathering with people and then invite Snoop Dogg and be like, "Hey, I just want you to be there," because mm-hmm. I I feel like he would just fit in with my friends. Or they would be just like, "How do you know Snoop Dogg?" And I'd be like, "Honestly, I don't." So Snoop Dogg, if you see this video, <laughs> come hang out of my apartment. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the season finale of Westworld this weekend. You're more than welcome to join me. <laughs> oh, no spoilers, because I'm doing a, a marathon binge. Oh, I will not say anything. So don't. Mom's Zip. Zip. I will say nothing. <laughs> I, I love that show, but that's not what we're here for. Yeah. She's going to binge it. Yeah, I'm binging it. It's... But... Um, wow, it, it is something else. <laughs> really. It's so good. But Snoop Dogg, you're invited to my apartment to watch it with me if you want to. <laughs> Be there. I think Snoop has been in anywhere. I think... I think you would probably go there's if you got like, this invitation. There's I'm like thinking. nowhere that Snoop would ever not fit in. I, I actually think that his son, uh, back when I lived in Florida, I think his son like had a football practice or something at my school, at my high school. Mm. Um, I, I want to say it was before I went there, but I was told that he hung out at the school for a little while, mm. which is very interesting because it was just a very small private Christian school. It's like, he'll go anywhere. <laughs> so come to my apartment, hang out. <laughs> so, uh, All right, so now moving on. <laughs> to moving the next on one. to our next one. We have Adam versus Eve. Oh, wait, we didn't do the who was who. Oh, did we need to? I, yeah. Did we need to? <laughs> we need to. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. We do need to. We do need to. Yes. So we had Moses with Snoop Dogg, a.k.a. Snoop Lion. Was that when he was Snoop Lion? I, I don't. Is he still Snoop Lion? I, I, I don't so. know. I'm pretty sure he's back to Snoop Dogg. He's Dog. back to Snoop Dogg because I, I never really did the Snoop Lion thing. Me I neither. Just, you know, he's Snoop Dogg to me. Mm-hmm. But um, Santa Claus is nice, Peter, and the elves were epic Lloyd. And Moses is honeys. <laughs> <laughs> For Elena Diaz and Monica Weitzel? Weitzel? Yeah, I think that's White. Yeah, Weitzel. Weitzel. Mm-hmm. They were funny. It was all funny. It was great. <laughs> that was something else. So, yes, our next one is Adam versus Eve. So, I totally get this one, of course. Battle this is going to be really intense. Yeah, I bet. It's going to be is... biblical. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you think I'm funny anyway. I think you're this funny. I totally think you're funny. Although, although I heard I am the master of laughing at nothing. Or was it the the king? No, I was called the king of laughing at nothing. Which, yes, I... Oh, She's I, a queen. I, I, well, I, I'm glad that... You know, there was no gender bias in that. I got assigned king. All right, that's, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Or the duke. We'll give you duke. duke. <laughs> that's, that's gender. Uh, the duchess of laughter. The duchess of laughter. <laughs> anyway. it's, like, it's high praise. <laughs> so let's see what this one has in store for us. Oh, right. This is very, like, Britney Spears. Or Justin Timberlake. I get this sexy back vibe from this. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, that's her. 
fuck with you. I know that you like to think you're so macho, but you smell like both sex and nacho. I work while you and your boyfriend Steve trick or play sports in a fantasy league. You're a shark with a stick that I rub on my lips, so go ahead, take a shot. I'm sure that you miss, like the laundry, the toilet, the grocery list. If you stop fucking up, I'll have to get pissed. Well, this is why to get out of come along and run it. Could you please just shut your face for 10 seconds? You cry about everything, but can't stop. Spousal. You this is like my arguments with my husband every time. <laughs> some funnier lines like the whole thing about you know you, you turn you as something you're bleeding and you turn into a demon or something like that it's not wrong that's literally what happens that is literally month, what happens i mean i grow a tail i don't know about the rest of you women but oh once a month that's what happens god it's like a murder scene down there. <laughs> it really is and we just lost all our male viewers all of them are gone <laughs> You're like, oh god. <laughs> I can feel them logging off. Just angry comments. Oh god. All right. All right. So I'll read them <laughs> while well, Ari composes herself. So Eve was Jenna Marbles. Adam was Epic Lloyd, and Steve was Nice Peter. <laughs> okay. I had a tweet one time. I'm going to tell this story. It's very brief. Um, I had a tweet one time that was, it's not Christmas Eve, or it's not Christmas Steve. It's cr I forget what I said, but it was along those lines. Turns out somebody else had tweeted it like an hour before me, the exact same tweet, and it was like, all these likes and stuff, so it looked like I had copied them, but I really hadn't. Um. I had just thought I came up with it. So then I had to delete it and apologize to all my 50 followers <laughs> to say, I'm sorry, tweet stealers are the worst people, the scum of the earth. <laughs> but anyway, that's when I read Steve. Is that Christmas it's, Eve? It's Christmas Steve. That's what it was. <laughs> I think that's what it was. <laughs> I think that's exactly what the tweet was. So I guess that is not an original thing to say. Oh, all right. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. So, a little right. bit embarrassed now, but that's okay. <laughs> our next one is Gandhi versus Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, I don't know how my mouth said that. Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. My mom would say, enunciate, enunciate your words. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting punchy now. Yeah, we're getting punch drunk right now. I'm starting like, to just smell colors. <laughs> we're like maybe about, I think we're like three fourths of the way through this season. So yeah, we're getting a little loopy. <laughs> we're right here and we're getting there. So thank you for those of you who have stuck with us thank thus you for, far. Like, if you've come this far, you're the champ. You really are the champ. <laughs> you win. You win all of Geek Girl World. Yes. You yes. are the champion. For, th for today. Then Just tomorrow. today, though. Uh, tomorrow it'll be somebody, somebody else. else. <laughs> Sorry, that's how the rules work. We don't make them. We just enforce them. <laughs> All right, so Gandhi versus Martin Luther King Jr. Mm-hmm. 
enunciating. ago just they are so smart and so funny like oh my god their reactions to stuff is just insane and uh jordan peele is going to be doing a, um i think he wrote and directed a new horror movie or like yeah something that's going to be coming out mm -hmm. next year called get out i think mm -hmm. and it looks intense but anything that he does like keanu <laughs> I, I don't know if they directed that i think they were just in it maybe they wrote it i don't know i could probably be wrong um but anything yeah. that they're part of, I'm going to throw money at because they are just so talented and so funny. Yeah, I am. I'm I'm a fan of theirs, but I really like when they do like the um, the college football. Is it the college? Yes. Football? <laughs> the, 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 the names. The names. Oh, my God. The, it's like so hilarious. It is so hilarious because I know I know people. My family with names like with that. Names like that. Dang. God, that's hilarious. <sighs> and I know people. Yes, but when they when they do that, I like crack up. I lose my shit. A lot that. of their stuff, I just cry yeah. laugh at. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, hey, you guys can come to my house and watch Westworld too. <laughs> Join Snoop Dogg. You guys can come. It'll be a party. <laughs> So for this one, we have Martin Luther King Jr. was Jordan Peele. Mahatma Gandhi was Kegel, Keegan Michael Kegel. Key. Kegel. <laughs> Kegel. <laughs> Kegel. We'll just shorten Keegan Michael to Kegel. Oh, okay? no. We've made our own name. No, Kegel. not Kegel. Those are Kegel. Those are Kegel. Those are Kegel. <laughs> Kegel Michael Key. No. <laughs> So Keegan Michael Key was Mahatma Gandhi, and White Preacher in Civil Rights March was Epic Lloyd. White Preacher in Indian Rights March was Nice Peter. Civil Rights March extras. All right, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Nikki Jenkins, Davina Friedlander. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, I. F I think it's Ifakunde. 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 Nwadi way. Nwadi way. Rike Castelovitia. Castelovita. Oh, I feel so bad. I feel like I should have known these names before we got cracking. Someone's gonna be like, "You should have done your research." I'm like, "I'm so sorry." Do your research. Nick Paris, Clarence L. Gaines the fourth. Mm -hmm. Jose Mendoza and Donnie McMillan. Mm -hmm. Indian Rights March extras. <laughs> Jose Molina, Dante Simadamore, well, we had him before. Mm -hmm. Rafael Serrano, Abisai, is that an I or an L? It's Abisai an Flores, Brian Fisher, and Atul Singh. Yeah. Cool. I might have ruined all those names. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're sorry if we butcher your names. Correct us. Correct, yes, correct us. us. Yeah, correct us, please. <laughs> so, our next one is. 
Nikola Tesla versus Thomas Edison. This is like the age old debate, of course. Who's better? Who's better? Who's best? That was that was a Who song, or that was a Who album from the Who. Who's better? Who's Doctor best? Who? No, no, no. The real Who. Oh, the Who. The Who. <laughs> That's before my time, guys. <laughs> I just sing CSI Miami. <laughs> no! Every that, time I'll fail. Yeah! Oh, oh, no, there's another. <laughs> Isn't that the same song? No, it's not the same song. <laughs> no, there's another. Isn't it the other CSI that has that song? Yeah, the, that, song? that was CSI Las New York? Vegas. That Vegas? was the re original CSI. Guys, CSI <laughs> uses a lot of new songs. <laughs> there was a new song for every CSI. Yeah, I I can't be expected to know them all. <laughs> oh my oh gosh. Oh, so anyway, we went way off track. But We're coming back. Coming back to Nikola Tesla versus Thomas Edison. Tesla Tesla came hard at the end. Um, I Edison was pretty hard, but Tesla really came with it. Brought it. Yep, definitely. And so Thomas Edison was Epic Lloyd. Nikola Tesla was Dante Simador Sima Sima Demore, aka Give Me Motion. I like his aka. I'm just gonna give say me Give Me Motion. <laughs> every time I see his see, name, every time I see his name, I'm just gonna say, "Give me motion." His voice, though, was nice, Peter. Yeah, nice, Peter was Nikola Tesla. Uh oh, so it was like a lip sync. Yeah, they've done that a couple times. Yeah, in the, in the other ones, I'm not. I don't remember exactly which ones they were, but that's interesting. That is interesting. Nice, Peter did a very Im good impression of Nikola Tesla. They really know their accents. Mm -hmm, they're, they pretty, do, they're pretty do, great. Yeah. At those. Putting the accent together with actual, you know, rapping too. That's that's good. That's tough. Some skills. <laughs> so our next one is Babe Ruth versus Lance Armstrong. All right. S sports. Sports. Yeah, definitely. Like diametrically opposed. Foes. Damn. <laughs> Wait, is it bros or foes? <laughs> Actually, a post. A post. Bros. Bros. 
What? It's a, it's a Hamilton line. <laughs> Diametrically opposed. Bros. 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 It's bros. Okay. I can't remember if it's bros. <laughs> okay. So let's see what this one has. Someone's going to correct me again for a Hamilton yeah. mistake. <laughs> one was Lance Armstrong was nice Peter Babe Ruth was epic Lloyd nice nice cool the OGs mm -hmm. all right moving on our next one is Mozart versus Skrillex and yeah I kind of get this but music music <laughs> but like opposite ends of the spectrum way after spins <laughs> should be fun though <laughs> My name is Felix, man. Welcome to the devil's den. I was getting much love in this bright and frilly pants. You're a weirdo, won't be too rich without a rich and poo. And your cousin blue notes on your little magic flute. Daddy, you should make the tax and find it like the fairy circus. You might have been a genius, but you died for rope and heartless. I'm rich and claim you're famous. I'm a plan to stop the anus. You're the lamest. Kiss my ass. I'm a dance. Such a good song. You just get the hiccups. I'm a product. He's sunny and I'm a bottle of smack. I'm rich. I'm a kid. Five years old. When I was five years old, yeah. 
and you're just a troll but pressing a space bar, yeah, I, I, he had the harder lines. <laughs> so Mozart was nice Peter and Skrillex was epic Floyd. Nice. Keeping it, keeping it with the original guys. The original guys. So our last one in this battle or this season is Rasputin versus Stalin. All right. Let's, Let's just crap right into it. Just go right for it. <laughs> <laughs> What was your favorite one of all this one, all these seasons, of this season? Um, let me look at the list again. Mm. Yeah, here's the list. Um, probably 
Batman versus Sherlock Holmes or Frank Sinatra and Freddie Mercury. It's between those ones. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to go with Batman versus Sherlock Holmes and Moses versus Santa Claus. Moses was up there. Moses was definitely... I, 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 yeah. Those, and those two are back to back. But yeah, it was like... Yeah. Both of those kind of like got me. But all in all, production value, like we've been saying this whole time, it's just... They just nailed it. Yeah. So I'm guessing from here on out, all the other seasons, which we will watch, better. they just keep getting better and better. So, so yeah. Kudos to them. Yeah. They're doing. They're doing a great job. So, um, so thanks for watching. Remember, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, visit our website geekgirlworld.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more binge watching reactions. I'm sure we're gonna do the other seasons eventually. Yeah. So be patient, because you know. We have jobs. We have we, lives. We do other things. <laughs> but this is the best. We have a great time doing this. And as always, like, you know, if you're going to comment, be constructive. Don't be a dick. <laughs> like, really, don't be a dick. It hurts our feelings a little bit. It wounds us. Anyway. Bye. Later.